What is up, my AMC fam? It's your boy Mike coming at you from. You already know, AMC Movie Theaters here to Mecca, California. Okay, this is not financial advice. This is my own personal opinion. Now, it is Saturday. It's about noon here on the West Coast. Actually, it's 12.15 here on the West Coast. And AMC, what happened yesterday is a bunch of BS, okay? Now, what I'm talking about is the closing price. I saw a closing price of 23.11. I saw 23.03. Then I saw a total price adjustment of 22.99. Now, we know at 23 bucks, there's so many puts that are in the money. Okay, there was a ton of puts in the money at $23. Now, usually at the end of a at the end of a week, there'll be some type of price adjustments where people exercising options and so forth. There's a window, maybe about 15 minutes, a half hour, where there'll be some adjustment, you know, maybe a couple of cents, maybe four, five, six, seven cents, somewhere around there. Okay, now we closed at 2311. Adjustment should have been at 2303. That's what I saw. Then for the last second to be pushed down at 2299, it's to me that's just um that's just the shadiest thing beyond recognition okay they're doing this right in front of her face this is the reason why we hold am i frustrated about it yes it pisses me off but it doesn't change anything you know i saw a tweet i saw somebody mention that more than likely over the last few weeks they, they've um shorted the float multiple times over so begs the question how many synthetic shares are out there i mean obviously we know there's tons if they're shorting the float multiple times over this is like insanity it's crazy I'm not talking with only amc but gme and i'm sure there's other stocks like this now speaking of crypto okay crypto is taking a dump right now um it sounds, sounds funny a little bit but <laughs> they're taking a massive hit okay bitcoin is down about 50 percent for the week or approaching 15 percent usually when this happens and it's usually on the weekends okay it's because these hedge funds what they need is liquidity to maintain the short position so they pull from crypto which is the most volatile asset i mentioned this before so i'm gonna mention it again and um and, but pulling from crypto the most volatile asset to maintain the short position so there was margin calls most likely either on friday or early this morning now, I'm not saying we're squeezing. This is not a video where I'm saying we're going to the moon, hold on to um, your, your pants or your chair, and, and this is it. Oh my gosh, I'm not here to pump you guys up. I'm here to give you just the information, the basic information and, and the facts of what I know, okay? So most likely there were margin calls. They pull from crypto and they're for the liquidity so they can maintain the short positions. Now, anything you see in the news, okay? This coming week or for the next two weeks is gonna be absolute FUD. I've already started seeing it. I'm not gonna get into that, but what you see in the news regarding AMC and, and many other stocks, AMC, GME, it, it, it's honestly, it's starting to pump. The bots are are, are insane right now. The bots and, and I don't know, Shields, if I do not know you, you know, you can ask a question. If I do not know you, then I'm not answering. I'm just gonna just keep scrolling and just move on, okay? I don't leave my number anywhere and all this other good stuff. Now, I know AMC and GME, there's a lot of, people out there that want to make it a competition or a battle that we hate each other let me be very clear amc and gme do not hate one another we're actually in the same boat we're rooting for one another because once one squeezes the next one follows right after and you have to understand that we're all in this together you want to call us a meme stock dumb money whatever it is okay things that i know is that we own the float multiple times over even if they're shorting it multiple times over man these birds are big out here even though they're shorting it multiple times over we own the float multiple times over and there's billions and billions of synthetic shares out in the market this is the reason why we hold so i want everybody again have a great weekend i don't know what's going to happen with this 22.99 we should have closed above 23 bucks and those puts should have been out of the money you know we still have we got coming up on the 21st you know i know that right now is that there's how do you say this the amount of manipulation if you think that you got to get accustomed to it i want you everybody prepared i want everybody to be prepared about what we're going to come expect the unexpected what's to come because the 25th is coming up which is one year okay you also have the 21st coming up and these guys are going to do whatever they want to do to try to get you out of your position just hold over the next few weeks after we get past these few weeks i believe we'll be fine okay think long term that's a if you think short term you're going to get you're going to be fear you have fear put in you you're going to get um stressed out think long term think past these two three weeks okay think to february even to the point of um our next uh, uh earnings meeting okay uh next week on the on the 12th which is i believe it's wednesday we have the cpi report coming out um jobs report came out yesterday and it was atrocious i, I don't know what they're doing i mean they keep missing by 50 percent, and it's just it's taking the market any of us can do better than what they're doing that, that's all i know so that, that's just my opinion okay it's not financial advice it's my opinion so again have a great weekend enjoy your football games you know hang tight know that we're holding on to a winner seriously okay not financial advice we're holding on to a winner we got something that billionaires want don't give away your shares for cheap okay know your self-worth you've been in it this long there's no reason to not want to wait a couple more weeks or maybe a couple months okay just hang tight okay remain patient remain calm 
we're in a great spot the numbers are all there the price is psychological i'm just dropping this video for you guys just a little reassurance over the weekend and come monday just pre be prepared for whatever is to come expect the unexpected okay um for me i'm in it to win it i'm not going to wear it. and if the price drops anymore you know i hear about you know my price bottom was at 2050 people are saying 19 bucks i just know this that with the lower it gets people are just buying the crap out of amc i don't know how there's any more synthetic shares or just shares in general left i mean i, I just do not know i mean <laughs> we own the float multiple times over and there has to be i, I don't know billions of synthetic, synthetic shares it's just it's insane i can't even comprehend it right now and yeah jimmy to that it, it, they're trying to crash the market either way I see this, we're gonna get paid, okay? Um, crypto is, is taking a hit, see how far crypto goes down, and you see if um, Bitcoin hits in the high 39s. Um, if it does, that's pretty crazy. Uh, if it drops 20%, you know, right now they're approaching 50%. So have a great weekend, I hope your favorite team wins. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, when I get some more information, I'll let you know. But we didn't close at 23, uh, 22.99, we closed at over 23 bucks, best believe. All right, peace.